little video of our journey from Norton Junction to Gayton Junction. I'm glad you said that because I was get it the wrong way round. Via Weed and Beck. Yeah. Um, we had to, when we left Norton Junction, we had seven locks to do, um, which were the first that seven the, locks. The, the Buckby flight of locks yeah. and the, the last flight of locks we came through. Yeah, which was Watford Locks. Watford Locks. We had was, help. Yeah, they had the volunteer lock keeps. So this uh, this time round, it's our, our first locks on yeah. our own. So uh, we're a little, little bit worried there, a little bit concerned. But yeah, but it, it went yeah, well, yeah, it was no, fine. N yeah. Nothing major, got yeah. in the locks as I should, held the boat um, steady as I should. You um, some of the some of the locks were hard. The paddles, some of the paddles were very very hard to do. Um, yeah, it and when the paddles were easy, the gates were difficult. When you're closing or opening the gates, they, you know, it's just getting a swing on them. Um, but we managed. And yeah, yeah, you get lulled into a false sense of security, just as you think you've nailed, yeah. nailed it or whatever. The, yeah. the, you can guarantee the following lock, the, the paddles will be oh, as heavy as hell. Yeah. And then actually opening or when you come to close the gate, just that initial momentum, yeah, getting it going. It's getting the momentum going. Because uh, yeah. I'm, I'm down in the lock. Because um, at the moment I'm doing all the uh, driving and Deb's uh, doing the locks. Which I like. Yeah. I much prefer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For we will, uh, we will be reversing roles because obviously if um, any at Deb, a later date. Yeah, yeah. If uh, Deb uh, hurts her shoulder or anything and can't do the locks, then she needs to be able to. Yeah. Uh, control the boat in and out of a lock yeah. while I'm, I'm doing the lock, so... Uh... Hmm. Now off on our jaunts again. Um, where we're heading to today? Weed and Beck. So we're now leaving Buckby Top Lock. Um, I think we've got five locks to go through. Could be wrong. And Deb's gone ahead to set the locks. We're going down. Pop into Wilton Marina. Have a look at getting some fuel. Fill up with water. Done all the cassettes this morning for the toilets. So we're all good there. to walk across the top of the locks. How was that? Very, very hard. Big old gates.
Niagara Falls. So how's, how's it been doing the locks all by yourself? Okay, so they're big, big gates, very big, heavy gates, but it's all right. It's, uh, my paying my rent, <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Sounds like that, we'll just yeah. lock 13 yep. to go and I think that's it. Yep, till Hemel Hempstead. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought there was more locks. <laughs> Watch this space. This is the last lock, lock 13 of the Buckby flight coming down and we'll be just outside Wilton Marina where hopefully I'm going to get some diesel. The two paddles on this lock that Deb has just done, I don't know whether there's crack caught in them or they're just very, very hard but she did struggle with those, bless her. seven locks yeah got out of the, the the last um lock on the buckby flight and then we had wilton marina to get fuel yeah well i've been getting myself in a little bit of a tiz about wilton marina because i've been on google maps trying to find where the fuel point is now we'd been into the, we'd walked down to the marina to their little uh, um cafe had a cup of coffee there and right tucked right in the corner of the marina um is their dry dock and uh, the fuel point and I'm thinking there's no way I'm gonna get the boat in there if I do I've got to reverse it out um, so I was I was really really worried about that um, but as we, we but... Come, come out of the bottom lock <laughs> there at Wilton Marina um, you've got a berth there just on the outside on the canal and the fuel point was there yeah so that was easy yeah although I took about 10 minutes to moor up and ended up right across the canal because me pointy end wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, yeah, I think we had a strong side wind. Yeah. Yeah, and we left there and headed for Weedon Beck. <laughs> Way to uh, Weedon Beck. We've got a motorway on one side and high speed rail track on the other, and we're chugging along at four mile an hour. If that. Heaven's opened a little while ago, just as Deb bought me a uh, cheese and bacon toasty, so that got soggy out the back here, but never mind, that all went down the same hole. Uh, we're going to just head to Weedon Beck, find some moorings there. And I believe there's a Tesco's Express. So no doubt I'll get sent over the list on my new fold-up bike and my rucksack and stock up on a few bits and pieces. That had me going. Another nice day for cruising. We just left uh, Weedon Beck and we're heading to Gaten Junction. Stay there for a couple of days. 
um, before heading on down to Milton Keynes. Deb's indoors, indoors, uh, making bread. That was either that or hop on my bike and bike to Tesco's Express this morning, but thought, no, we'll make bread. And the good thing about this little uh, app, DJI Osmo 2 gimbal, is wherever I move, locks onto my face. Only trouble is I don't know when I'm this far back whether the whether the sound picks up. I will find out when I upload the video. by the bridge and we've just come up here to Norton Junction to fill up the water. There's the water point we're on. Yeah and when we got when we got moored up there we was moored up I'd say about 800 yards, 1000 yards from the actual junction itself and we was going to be there for uh, three or four days um, so we was going to need to fill up with water. Now the water point was actually at the at the junction and across, um, across so for a, and because we weren't going to get water and carry on we wanted to get back to where we was so that was a case of um, going down um, filling up with water and then reversing back up the canal. Well you don't have a great deal of uh, control reversing the boat no. Um, well, he, hard, did, he did any, really, any really at well. All. So I was a little bit worried about reversing back, um, mainly because on either side of the canal there was boats moored all the way along. Um, but you did it, yeah, you, yeah. And and I think the art was to just do it very slowly. Yeah, yeah. I was and it, just just in just in tick over. Yeah. Got the boat lined up nice and straight. Had my, I've got a bow thruster. Um, but I tend not to use it. Uh, it's, it's there as an emergency, so I, I turned it on ready just in case of an emergency, and managed to reverse all the way back yeah, in a nice Luckily, straight line. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have any wind or anything no. like that going on, so no, it was so pretty I, yeah, still. So well, so well, was, well chuffed it, with that. My yeah. first first attempt at reversing, yeah. and I got it going straight. I don't know what would have happened had I had to go around well, we'd a have bend had to or anything. Try, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that went well. Yeah. And then uh, one of the days you polished the boat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't have a great deal to do. The weather was nice. Um, it was the side of the boat. Towpath side. There's always a towpath oh. side of the boat, uh, starboard side, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so starboard side, yeah. So uh, pointy end that way, that side of the boat. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. But 
but he did a very good job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the paint, I job. think I think the, the paintwork on the boat is the original paintwork, and like I say, it's a 2000... Is it 2007 or 2008? 2007. 2007. So it's, it's 11 years old. Um, and just, just getting a little bit uh, dull and oxidised. So I didn't want to do anything harsh with tea cut or anything. So I just had um, normal automotive polishes that I brought from... I was going to say home. We are home. That I brought from uh, our garage from when we did have a house and just use those. Well, this morning, a little bit of boat polishing. Um, we parked up, parked, moored up on a different side of the marina than normal. So um, I can actually get to starboard side to give that a polish. Um, so I've been doing that, I don't know, a quarter of an hour, just started at one end and you can already see the difference uh, in the paint. I'll, I'll show you. Here we are, we'll start at this end. And it's all very dull and matte. And see down here, nice and shiny. It's still a bit patchy, so I've still got some to do. I'm going to go over that again with a different, different type of wax, um, just to give it another buff. It's looking better already. Right, so here's been today's products of choice. Uh, first, wash the boat with uh, Sea Safe Boat Wash. Uh, it's all environmentally friendly so it's going to go into the water and not do any harm to any wildlife then gave it a good polish with auto glim super resin polish always use this on cars previously always had good results with it and i've just now gone over it with a canoba canoba canuba i'm not sure how you pronounce it um wax and uh that's on there drying. And I shall buff that off once it's dry. There's the area I haven't done. There's the area I showed you earlier when it was polished. And we'll see how that comes up. Well, that's that front section polished twice now. Once with the auto glim, and then just went over it with the traditional wax. You can see massively different from that. So the weather's fine. Now you're going to start with this section. Um, I've got a little bit of footage of some of the polishing, but the actual complete side finished, um, I somehow managed to delete that. So sorry. So I'm going to. De-smurf my hands because my hands are all blue. Have a cup of tea, and then come out and do some buffing. Yes, yeah, so that's our journey from Norton Junction to Gaten Junction. And when we leave Gaten Junction, or when I say when we leave, we have left Gaten Junction. We left it a long while ago. As you uh, can see, you with can the, see the decorations Christmas decks in the back. are up. Um, we got so behind uh, with doing these videos. Somebody said uh, a narrow boat is a time thief. Gosh, yeah. And it seems very, very true. Just yeah. totally lost track of time. Uh, so I've got to try and catch up. So we want to get it so we're about a week to two, week to ten days when we put a video out. Um, that would have been video footage from a week to ten days previous. That way is fresher in our heads. Yeah. And um, just make them a little bit more interesting. We've got some. I've got some good good videos coming up. I'm not going to say what they are, um, uh, although I haven't edited it all together, but there'll be a couple of interesting ones. Yeah, so watch this space. Yeah. Again, if you if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button on the YouTube page, subscribe and um, comment. Yeah, and if there's any questions, yeah, yeah, we'll answer. Right, so see you next time. Bye.